What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebase.com. 2022 Panini Certified Football just sold out. This is a eight box break. Pickerton's number twelve, and the second half of the case. Did did Bryce Harper get a hit or did he get walked? All right, here's everybody else. And again, if you have a little character, that means you won that from a team random. Everybody else, of course, bought in straight up. So here we go. <clears throat> now I'm gonna do the same thing as I did earlier. Just gonna rip four boxes at a time. I feel like it kind of. I'm by pretty quick doing that that way, so. Just keep the same. Man, Dawkins I hear all the time, but Lito Shepard? That dude had like a hundred and, uh, a hundred plus yard return and a hundred plus yard interception, I believe. Lito Shepard. I think he had one of like the longest returns ever for an interception. Sheldon Brown, most famously known for knocking the wind out of Reggie Bush in the playoffs against the Saints. Javon the Freak Curse. That was a big. That was a big signing too. Uh, in 04. he only played with the Eagles for a couple years, but of course, I think he was in that Super Bowl team with the Titans early on, or in the early 2000s, and then I believe signed with the Eagles as a free agent with that TO. That TO year. That was a really, really good defense. That Jim Johnson defense. <clears throat> Jeremiah Trotter as your middle linebacker. That was the what, what could have been teams right there, Gila. It's funny they're showing do up Alvarez over three. Two of it over four, and then it's like Kyle Tucker three for five. <laughs> and I was so happy. I was so happy that uh, he won a championship with the Kansas City Chiefs. Honestly, he deserved it so much. He did win a championship with the Green Bay Packers as an uh, as an offensive coordinator, but um, obviously winning it as a head coach is always a lot different. So I was so happy when he won for them. Is that right, Brody? You know which game is... Man, this game was so sick. I think it's still one of the best, like, football games ever. NFL 2K5. You guys remember that with T.O., like, kind of doing, like, the jump man? Um, with the Eagles uniform on it? Like, when you used to get, like, in-head, like, in-person playing. Like, when you were, like, in the face mask. That game was so fun. NFL 2K5. I haven't actually bought the new Madden. I was going to skip it, but... Is it is it a lot better, Gilo, or is it kind of the same thing? I don't know. I think you're right. I don't think it's restricted EA anymore. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I still need. A, I don't even know. I don't even know if I'll ever get a PS5. I feel like they're never gonna sell those here. But if I ever get a PS5, I'd for sure probably go back into a little bit of 2K and Madden. I was really never good at, like, first-person shooter games like, you know, Modern Warfare or 
all that kind of Fortnite. Sh I just, I just totally suck, and I don't even want to take the time to learn. I'm more of a sports guy, or if I'm like full of fan of friends and family, you know, like doing Nintendo Switch, like Mario Kart, you know, shit like that. What I admit, I hope what I hope they do is bring back is uh, NFL uh, or sorry NCAA, you know. I got I got uh, we got rigged, got robbed of not seeing like Mariota on the cover. You know what I mean? You know Mariota on the cover. You know maybe Justin Herbert on the cover at the time. Kind of hate that they 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 stopped making those. All right, good luck, guys. Here we go. Drake London. Not to brag, but you're a freaking demon on the shoot. Oh, man. Well, if I ever well, if I ever try to get back into something like that and give it a shot, I'm going to need your guidance. Uh, 11 out of 75. No, I know they're going to bring it back, but I feel like, you know, I've, we got robbed for a few years. Seen a couple of those. Whoa, what the hell was that? John Mechie. Tryon Davis Price. No way. Like, sealed? I might even actually have that NCAA 14 somewhere. I think in 2014 I had an Xbox 360. Jahan Johnson to 149. Darius Leonard. Damn, I gotta go look for that shit then. I might, it might be somewhere in my mom's house. Isaiah Spiller. There was a couple games. I could have sworn. I don't think I had Modern Warfare sealed. But you know how, like, back in the day, I mean, they probably still do it, but, like, I remember at one time I bought my 360, and, like, it came with, like, you know, it comes with, like, a couple games, and you get, like, a bundle, it comes with, like, an extra controller, like, two games. I want to say that the bundle I had got one time was, like, was, like, Call of Duty, and, like, I already had the game, I think, or something like that, and I never opened it, but I don't think it's Modern Warfare, like, like one of the older original ones, but I was just thinking about that the other day, because I was like, man... I think at my mom's house they might even still be sealed. But I remember there was like one of those games, those shooting games that came with the bundle. I never opened it because I was like, oh, well, I don't need to open it. I already have it. But it was that. Huh? Uh, two and threes or whatever. Three and two? Yeah. Uh, are those PYTs or? Yeah, they are. Yeah, I never. I, I've kind of always felt like Xbox 360 was a little bit more fun to play with, but. I mean, when my friends all started switching over to, like, PS4s, I kind of just had, like, no choice to follow them, you know? Because then, it's like, whenever we wanted to play online, it's like, yeah, I'm the only dude that still has, like, an Xbox, you know, if I went, like, Xbox One. Then I had a couple gamer friends, like, the legit had both, you know? <laughs> it's like, alright, dude. Freshman Fabrics. Uh, Mirror Signatures Bronze. Card number 216. Jameson Williams. All right there for Detroit, Chad. I have any extra labels? They can. Wow. What? Yeah, Philly just hit a home run though. Now they have two people on. Kyron Williams, 1099. 
Najee. Danny Gray. Yeah, I think I really started playing a lot of the NCAA games, like probably NCAA 2007, 2008. I remember like Tim Tebow was on it. And then, you know, uh, when I first played a couple of NCAA games, I'm not going to lie. I think it was like 05 or 06. I was playing West Virginia Mountaineers, Pat White. <laughs> Like, around that time, before he went to the NFL, man, Pat White was so much fun to play with. Bailey Zappi. Like, all this gamer talk, I kind of just want to play my, my, my PS4 tonight when I get home. I swear to God, I probably haven't turned on my PS4, like, in a year. Well, actually, that's not true. I personally haven't turned it on, but one time my godson came over, and he was playing one of my Spider-Man games with my wife, so they might have turned it on a few months ago. Honestly, that's the one game that I kind of want to buy, too. I want to buy, like, the show. I feel like those games have always been fun to do and play with, you know? Uh, Vilas Jones Jr. And nice Chris Olave. Three-color patch to 149. You guys play on PS PlayStation or you guys play on uh, Xbox? I don't know my gamer tag, but whenever I figure it out, I'll send it to you guys. I think I still pay for online every year, but I don't even play for it. I don't even pay it or play it. I think I still pay like the 60 bucks. I actually love playing NHL on on, uh, on PS on PS4. It was fun. Snoop Connor, Snoop. Which one is the new Xbox, Gilo? Ooh, little Desmond Ritter. Wow, look at that. Eight of twenty. Nice three color patch. There you go, Brody. Ready for some Falcons hits? There we go. Box three had it. Does anybody have any 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 hookups to like a PS5? Where I don't have to pay a ridiculous price. I signed up for like that PlayStation like email notification like whenever you get a chance. But I don't think I've ever got any messages back. <laughs> it's like a really confusing name. Yeah. Just keep it simple. Like PS4, PS5. Like, you know, they went from like Xbox to Xbox 360 into like Xbox One. Well, what, where do they sell it at, Gilo? Like, I don't want to pay extra money for it. Like, come on, man. You got to give me, give me the info. Help your boy out. Ritter. I just hate that they're not like available everywhere like like all the PlayStations used to be. Jordan Brooks. You're telling me if I go on Target or GameStop right now, like on their website they'll have one? Or I gotta go in person? You you see one Gilo, you let me know, I'll send you the money right now. Seal of approval. Woo! Radical rookies. Little Drake London.
Yeah, I don't, I don't care how much. I just don't want to pay like an extra hundred, two hundred dollars off of somebody. You know, I just whatever I can get it for fair price. You know. Because I thought they said that they weren't going to be selling those anytime soon, like in over a year or two. Because of, I don't know, manufacturing issues or something like that. But they do release X amount, like I know through the PlayStation website, if I remember correctly. Because my brother-in-law got one like a few months back. He's like a PlayStation like subscriber, or I don't know what the hell he is. And uh, he got an email and he was able to buy two and he got them. Pierre Strong Jr. to 249 But... Drake London. Falcons break. Rutger. Brees Hall. And Brees Hall there to 49, rookie roll call. I mean, that's, yeah. But, you know, when you really want it, <laughs> at the time in there, you know, it's like you just got to do it. If the PS4 still costs like 50, 60 bucks, I assume that's, or five, six hundred dollars, then I assume that's still 50, 60 dollars in tax. But I guess shipping might have been a lot more on StockX, and they probably got you with fees or something. I've never bought anything on StockX before. Jake Ferguson. Uh, this is Patrick. This is a certified number 12. And George Pickens. 299. And Rogers, 299. Yeah, I think. Xbox is I can buy it at I I, I could I could even buy it at a uh, at Costco. It's just PS. It's just PlayStation is a little bit harder to get. I remember I went to Target maybe like four or five months ago. Obviously it's been a while, but I had asked them like, "Hey, when are you guys ever gonna get PS fives or PS fives?" And he goes, Pfft. "He's like, I don't even know, man. Like never." Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, Panini. So this is a Panini certified football. It's a good looking product. The, I think these personals are about like 210, 220 a box. You get, I think, what, three to four hits per box. Two relics, two autos potentially. Not a bad product at all. Damn, Gila, that's awesome, dude. Yeah. Well, also, too, I mean, I'm in Los Angeles. So it, it's, it's probably super tough to, <laughs> to get to do something like that here. So that's the one thing. I don't even think I can go to Walmart and go find blaster boxes anymore. Still, <laughs> you know, like let alone like PS fives. All right, guys, here we go. Last four here.
Ooh, off the wall. I know, I heard Cracker Barrel sells, sells cards now, too. I've seen them, I've seen some cards at, at, uh, CVS now, and I've seen them even at gas stations sometimes. Dollar Tree has some sometimes. Dollar Tree one time I seen, they had, like, uh, they had, like, nice, uh, Series 1 hockey packs for, like, a dollar. I've never been to a Cracker Barrel, so I wouldn't know, but that's kind of cool that you can buy them through their website. Uh, one time I was on Costco.com, and then I was just browsing, and you know what I seen there? I seen like a $10,000 Michael Jordan autograph. And then I, I browsed sports cards, and they were selling like some really high-end cards. Then I realized it was like linked with like Fanatics. It was like a fifteen thousand dollar Jordan dual autograph with whatever, whatever you know, and then like a seven thousand dollar autograph basketball of this person. I was like, "What the hell?" It was the craziest shit. It was funny. I've been seeing more at Costco though. A lot of Pokemon. Alrighty, folks, here we go. Last four. Eden Hutchinson. And Roger McCreary to 149. Quay Walker. Oops, sorry about that little burrow. 189. Connor Hayward. Oh, can Kyle Tucker be the savior again? No! Struck him out. How about a little Bailey Zappy? I don't know, man. If Mac Jones doesn't have a good game this weekend, it could be Zappy time for the rest of the year. Nice 42 out of 249, four color patch. Patriots going to Zach. Matt Judon. We got a uh, Buccaneers piece of the game to 25. Mac Jones. Boy. All right. Next box, Chris Olave. Matt Ryan to 99. This guy also got benched. Sam Ellinger time. Tyreek Hill to 50. Yeah, I did see that actually, Brody. But then they were trying to say it. 
and denied that it actually didn't hit that. Although it, you can kind of clearly see that it kind of moved a little direction, like for a split second, right? But they were claiming that it did not even reach that. It was like 15 yards still above or something stupid like that. But I don't know. To me, it looked like he did hit it. Jake Ferguson. Ty Chandler. Oh, well, they walked Drew Chris Olave to 299. Come on, man. Just throw some strikes, Robertson. Devontae Wyatt. 149. Green Bay Packers. That's going to Brandon. Kenneth Walker. Ryan Tannehill. Gold team, Kirk Cousins. I think they rushed him back a little bit too, Ruddy. And I, I don't know if it was them. I just think it might have been him, honestly. Zappi was just, you know, ro ro rolling too much, right? He was just looking too good. In the sense that, like, they just, he probably felt like he needed to come back. So I'm not giving up on Mac Jones. I mean, look, you know, I think he's built for this, this adversity with Alabama. You know, I think he'll be fine. But, I mean, if anything, it's just a good thing for the Patriots knowing that if Mac Jones just can't get it together. After that high ankle sprain injury, that kind of could linger all year. Three color pass to 99, then you got someone like Zappy that could actually, you know, run the offense and create some plays. I think the one thing with Zappy, the difference is that he's kind of more of a gunslinger, right? He's willing to take that risk. All right. Zukama to 349. And wild pitch. Two outs now. Runners at scoring position. Ugh. Not looking good. Throw some dang strikes, bro. Come on. Now this guy's going to blow it. And then to 249, Drake London. Perfect for London. Oh. That's right, huh? it was easy. <laughs> oh my god, did he hit that dude? Get this guy out of here, bro. Get this Robinson dude out. This guy's just too wild right now. Devontae Smith. This is horrible now because honestly, if he gives up a run, now there's two people that might score and then the game's over. Jahan Dotson. And little Sam Howell to 75, three color patch. Patrick Davis with the Commanders. Oh, did he say that you try you reach for your shoulder like? Oh yeah, he did. He did. He did move into that actually. He knew the elbow protector was actually there. Deshaun Watson. What, this dude can't throw strikes now all of a sudden? Austin Eckler. To 35. Cooper, uh, Cooper Cup. All right, there's a good pitch. All right, down to the last box, guys. Damian Pierce. Routine, routine, baby. Just routine. Game over. He heard me, guys. Robinson heard me. He's like, all right, Jason, shut the hell up. <laughs> Can he pick it? This is monumental, guys, right here. I don't think... 
This is big for the Phillies. Nicobe Dean to 50. Fly goes fly. Brandon. George Pickens. Kyler Gordon. Yeah, this is a great game one, right? I mean, if every game is going to be something like this, if, I was a, if I'm a Phillies and Astros fan, <laughs> better start taking some blood pressure medication or something. Out of 10, Christian Watson. James Robinson to 149. Zamir White, a nice patch right there, too. Reyes to 50. Jerry with that one. Michael Pittman Jr. Josh Allen to 199. All right, Nicobe Dean, a little quick recap, guys. Thank you so much here. So that's a Zamir White patch auto, Sam Howell, Devontae Wyatt, a little Easy, e Zucanma, Wando Robinson, McCreary, a little Zappy, Brees Hall roll call, three color, four color patch, Pierre Strong, Jordan Brooks, uh, case hit Radical Rookies for uh, the uh, Falcons and Drake London there, Snoop Connor, nice three color patch to 20 there. For Desmond Ritter, Chris Olave, Kyron Williams, Flipper Anderson, Jamison Williams. Uh, pretty solid case. A lot of big names. I think our big quarterback one was in the first half, but there's all the relics here as well. And, of course, we got a ton of numbered cards. All in all, a good one, guys. I'm going to see if we can post up another one. Uh, if not, then, of course, that will be good for us for certified. But appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.